glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. stuffed with sulfur and a dead cobbler, straight out of Eastern legends. Not good enough for the Karen, though. I'm glad you're here. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster... How much time does it have left? A few years? Perhaps a decade and change? Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very similar to cancer cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. But you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism, effectively mutate, but over a very long time. When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection, evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism, or a few representatives of a species, we frown on it as mutation. And here I thought you liked me. What else? The Karen's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. 
Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? <clears throat> see you. I suppose I could forward this, but where the hell in Flotsam will I find a drop box for the Royal Post?
What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You're going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. With these cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorba. A ballista. The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Nothing better than a fireside and feast. Drunkards protect me. Like <laughs> <a> <laughs> I'd plow into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. What you want, old man? I was looking to test my strength. Arm wrestling. What do I stand to gain? Nothing, because I'll thrash you. And if I win? You'll have beat a witcher, so I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good old fella? The Grey Wolf? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's begin. Haven't had this good a time in ages. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know this one. Let me know if me down the path. Travel, travel. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? Hey! You're a lightweight, Grey Wolf. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little elf is skipping down the path. Travel, travel. Tend to the ballista, Geralt. Laredo's busy with the... Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Haven't had this good a time. What do you need, ugly? I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right, it'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse. Two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Myron and Alphonse. 
teach them a lesson yet? Not just yet. I'll not show you so much as a tip for that. I'll not show you so much as a tip for that. That's true. You know this one. A little apple skipping down the path. Travel, travel. And on came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. What you want? I was looking for a re. Let's do this. Do that again, and I'll fuck you, mum. Now, there, boy. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? Nothing better than a fireside feast. Damn the dogs! The old man got me! I need to eat. Build up a bit. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not I don't like for less than straight. ten orans. I don't like. I don't like freaks. And I don't like oafish no necks. What do you want, mutant? To try my luck? Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Haven't had this good... You're weak! That's true. Got straight. Oh. You know this one. A little apple skipping down the path. Travel, travel. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Travel, travel. Oh, you are a fat, dirty, rotten scum. Travel, travel. Do that again, and I'll fuck you, mum. Travel, travel. I hate mutants like you. I know, I know. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? Who's a white-haired filly? Hmm? Myron? Teach them a lesson. Of course. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Care Luckily, for a little diversion, great one. I'm on duty. Come here, lass. Oh, come Your on. Still Your comrades are well at it having their fun. Why should it? you be any worse? I'll not let any Don't you traipse around here. Care for a little diversion, brave one. <laughs> I'm on that duty. struts about as if he oh, was a kid. <laughs> Your comrades are well at it having their fun. Why should you be any worse? Haven't had this good a time in ages. Let's go. That's true. You know this one. Shots are yes. Do we wait until the honorable lady is done with the venerable hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. 
What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. All right, I'll distract the guard. Brilliant as ever. Soldier, report! No passage! Haven't had this good a time in ages. Soldier, report to me immediately! What do you want? Shut it, soldier! Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life. In Flotsam, we cut the hands off thieves. I was looking for the privy. You're lucky the Commandant wants to see you. Come on! Commandant, sir. We called the Witcher sneaking around the garden. Bring him in and leave. Yes, sir. We were just discussing a certain matter. You here on business too? The Commandant wanted to see me. In that case, I shall leave you to it. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. That's no concern of yours. Listen, Witcher. Here in Flotsam, everything's my ploughing concern. Let me help you, Geralt. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it, too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo, then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. In that case, we'll get him too. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. A local con- You killed some elves on the riverbank outside Flotsam. We were attacked. You failed to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lurido. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. Your point, Commandant? You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvith's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What do you want me to do? As long as your veth remains free, humans, elves and dwarves will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Cairn has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. But that is, um... The trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Cairn and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see your vet. I'll talk to Zoltan. 
I trust you'll make the right decision. Farewell. Any news for me? Entry only on the Commandant's Express orders. Off you go. Passage. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix. Turned me away at the door, the bastard. Turned me away at the door, the bastard. <laughs> 